Hey, what's going on, y'all? Got another video here. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. I am happy that it is over and we are done with Christmas. And uh, anyways, I had a long night last night. We were having Christmas get together in the neighborhood at a, over at a neighbor slash friend's, friend's house. And anyway, so I, uh, I was up late and waking up and I'm drinking a bunch of coffee. Anyways, I want to do a video because I got some new things here for Christmas. And one of them was a gift that uh, a family member gave me. And I thought it was, I thought it was pretty neat. Anyways, I just wanted to show it and to kind of go through the kit <coughs> and kind of give my thoughts on it, whatever, my opinions on it. I don't know anything about the company, where they got it from, you know, and all that. But it was a gift for Christmas uh, for my mother-in-law. And she knows I'm into the whole survival and preparedness and stuff. So that's why she got it. And uh, so anyways, I just wanted to kind of show it and go through it and then take a look at it. Uh, I really haven't opened it up yet. Uh, I just kind of vaguely looked at it. But anyways, it's a survival kit, which I have tons of survival kits. I have a lot of Black Scout survival uh, survival kits. Those you know, the ones I always recommend for people to buy. And uh, I have uh, other survival kits that were through other companies and other people. Uh, but, you know, I, I got plenty of these, but... I, for me, it's always good to have plenty of survival kits, especially like in different kits, different bags, packs, vehicles, you know, in the house, whatever. It's just good to have these uh, kits because uh, you never know when emergency or some type of disaster uh, or survival situation comes up or SHTF and you might need these items, you know, to stay alive. So um, it's just good to have, to be prepared and be ready. So anyways, but the company here is called, I don't even know how to say this. Uh, what is it? Vitorlo, Vitorlo, I think is the name of it. Anyways, this is the user guide that comes with it. It also has, uh, does come with a spork in here, which is basically like a multi-tool. It says, be careful when it separates, the spork, the spork separates, so be careful, it has a sharp knife. Uh, and there it shows you the the blade side and how to open it and all that. So it does come with sporks. So that's actually a very good item to have. It's all I always keep one in my get home bag and in my backpacking type setup. Any I always keep some type of spork or some type of utensils uh, just in case. And even for like traveling, it's always good to have some utensils because you know if you can't find any plastic ones or you don't want to use plastic, uh, it's good to have. Uh, and the titanium ones are lightweight. So just good to have these options. So it's kind of cool to see they put that in there. You gonna get some breakfast? I got the kids here. Mommy's uh, doing returns and some more Christmas shopping on her end that from, from me. So anyways, but this is actually one of my new shirts for Christmas. And y'all Yellowstone fans, they take them to the train station. Anybody watches the show Yellowstone knows exactly what that means. And I love that saying in the show uh, what that stands for so anyways but this is the kit it comes in a nice uh, container uh, it's not waterproof it does have the cheap plastic clips here you know that open up I think there's four yeah two on the sides two on the front but it does have a foam uh, case in here so that's good it you know keeps everything protected but it's not waterproof so I would definitely probably get rid of this case and I, I would buy like a, a Pelican type case that's waterproof and that would keep all the gear in here more protected. So that's kind of the case right off the bat. I do like it has, it has a little bag like this, but it's not really necessary, but it's nice it has that. Yeah, there's the company right there. Anyways, uh, I'm not for sure where it's, where it's made. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's definitely from another country here with the name it sounds like but i don't think this is american usa uh you know made or whatever uh probably china you know it's probably a kit from china but they have uh yes okay i will hold on give me a minute let me do this all right um anyway so i'm just going through the book here and I, they got pictures in here you know, so showing families, you know, kids. All right, go go watch TV real quick, and I'll get you. I'll get you cereal here. Oh, it does say it's a waterproof case. 
It's, it's, it says it right here, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's waterproof. I don't even see a rubber seal. All right, here's the spork with the knife that they were talking about. So basically, this uh, little guy here is just going through the kit. Uh, it's got the carabiner. It's got the bracelet, survival bracelet in here. It's got a glass breaker. It has a tactical pin in here. So I'm gonna go through this book real quick just to see all the content and show it. it does have one of those multi-tool cars, which you know, I'm not a big fan of those. Kind of think it's a waste of space. Um, I'd rather just have a small multi-tool. Does have a blade in here, basically. Uh, it's a folded knife, but you know it's got the seat belt cutter on the glass breaker, all that stuff. Uh, looks like a serrated blade. I'm not a big fan of the serrateds, but they are good to have to cut rope. Does have a fire starter. Has that? I will see what that is. The tactical pen. I was kind of going backwards here on the book, so I'm gonna go back this way. All right. The knife. The survival bracelet and then it has a survival guide build a fire make a signal um identify the direction navigating make a shelter so it has all these little uh prevent hypothermia so it has all these little different informational sections here got some pictures here of a father and a son uh but it has all these little check marks check the boxes so you know why if you were in a survival situation it was you know emergency or something bad you know <clears throat> you go through these different these steps to for your survival ability and that's that's good they put that in there and i am showing other cool uh items they got is a multi-tool hammer and a led magnetic uh light it looks like and just to show you that so anyway that's that's what's in this book and it has a survival guide uh, step by step but anyways but it does have a uh, mercy blanket so that's always good to have definitely want that and it's another way of a source of shelter but also you know hypothermia here's uh the multi-tool card i would get rid of that uh i don't see why anybody should have a pin especially a tactical pin uh in a survival kit um that for me that's more like edc and and uh, something I like to keep in my get home bag because I always like to make sure I have a pin on me. But uh, basically this uh, has a glass breaker, a non-slip threaded design, rotate to replace the refill. You say you can refill it and ride it smoothly. But, you know, it doesn't have anything on it. It's just a pin with a glass breaker. So for me, this isn't something you need in a survival kit. So I would definitely take that out. But it's always nice to have an extra pin. Uh, the survival bracelets, not a big fan of these. Uh, it does have a compass, a whistle, probably uh, it has a ferrocium rod and it has a striker on it to, to get a fire going. So there's your ferrocium rod, your striker to get a fire going, but I would not bet my life on this. And the whistle and all that for emergencies to get somebody's attention for signaling, I would not bet my life on this. So definitely something uh, here's a carabiner that comes with it, so you can clip this to your bag, attach it to a pack, to Molly. Uh, but I don't like, I definitely wouldn't want something like this on the outside of my bag, attached to my, my person or my bag, flopping and hitting, going all over the place, and then a chance of it falling off and you're losing it. So, But it's kind of cool they did put that in there. But I could use this for something else, um, you know, on a kit. Um, I could use this on my bag, but using it for something else. And here's the knife. We'll just check out the blade here. Uh, it flipped open pretty good. Not too bad. You know, but it's just your standard, you know, $20 knife probably. And it's got a nice pocket clip on it. You know, I got my Black Scout folding knife I always carry, but just to see. Yeah, these shorts here are real thin, so but damn, I can't even get the pocket clip on. Okay, but it does stick out. It does stick out here, so you know it's uh it's not like the my one I always carry that sits in a little bit deeper. So that is uh doesn't sit low in the pocket. Has the glass breaker on, it, which you know, and the seat belt cutter, which I don't need that. Um, 
but you know, it's kind of good to have for these emergency type knives. But for the most part, yeah, a little sharp. It could be tightened up on the sharpness, but it's a brand new and it's serrated. Not a big fan of serrated, but it does come in handy. Handy. There's a knife. Here's a fork, which I wanted to see this. It does have a cord with it, so you put it right around your neck, keep it on your person, put it in your pocket. Nice little utensil, fork there, fork and spoon. And then it has a sheath here, which that looks like another whistle. And so it has a whistle on the fork, so that's pretty neat. And I'm actually glad they do have that because this whistle on these bracelets suck. And then here's your knife and it does have a bottom opener and then a saw blade edge on it but i definitely would not depend on that cutting any trees or, or any limbs with it but it's uh could come in handy as far as you know having being a multi-tool and um yeah but you definitely have to be careful using this and make sure your hand didn't slip and cut your foot cut your hand um so one thing i do notice there's no first aid kit in here no uh, band-aids, no boo-boo kit or anything, but you definitely probably want to make sure you have one using this thing because you're probably going to end up cutting your freaking hands if you don't have any gloves. It's not that sharp, so it could be tightened up. It's not sharp at all, really, but um, way to get the job done, I guess. But it's got a bottle opener on it. But I do like how it has a sheath here for the blade and it has the whistle on there, so that's kind of a cool option, but you definitely be careful putting this back in because this is cheap plastic and it would probably split apart and then poke your, cut your hand that way too. So definitely have to be careful of that. <clears throat> oh, it does have a fair seam rod and a striker. So that's not your only way to start a fire, but you lose your kit and you got this bracelet on, so at least you have something. You have your cordage and you know, compass, whistle, signaling, and a way to start a fire. But this is your actual fair seam rod here, which Trying to get open, but good size fair seam rod. Try to untie all this. There's the cord on there. Which, okay. Anyway. But uh, just to see, uh, check it out. But you know, it does throw sparks. So you definitely could get a fire going with that. I like how it's a big fair seam rod like that. So, you know, definitely good to have. It's got a nice handle on it to hold on to. So, you know, it definitely get the job done. So I'm glad to see they put that in there. But uh, this cordage here is cheap. So I get rid of that. And then, you know, attach some paracord to this. Uh, anyways, not bad, you know, for what it is. Uh, it does have a flashlight in here. So it's got one of these little, you know, Tactical flashlights, which, you know, you got to take the cover off the battery here or whatever for it to get to work. I'm sure it has the battery in it. But. Okay, so it extends out. Uh, so it's got the extension on it, so the battery be back there. All right, no battery, so I have to put a battery in there. But I don't know how bright this light is. But it's just a cheap, small little fl uh, cheap flashlight you buy on Amazon does have a pocket clip on it, so it's, you know, it's nice to have. You can put it on your person, in your pocket, but it does extend out. So I guess it adjusts the, the light itself and uh, the lumens. Uh, so it does have that option on there, it looks like, but no battery. So definitely have to, I guess I can't put a battery in for shipping purposes. Uh, here's the tactical pin, which I talked about earlier. It's just, Strike bells on, just got a nice little uh, glass breaker on there. Big size, like most of your tactical pins. I have the Black Scout Survival Tactical Pin, and plus I made my own tactical pin. Jack with Black Scout showed you how you can buy two pins and make an all stainless steel tactical pin. You can use it for uh, you know, self-defense, but Black Scout did make one years ago, and I do have that one, and that's like the best tactical pin ever. But, uh, <clears throat> Uh, awesome design and awesome setup feels great in the hand but this one's like your standard bulky uh, tactical pen it's not really fun to carry on your person but it is a pen and you can refill it so that's good uh, but i definitely probably keep this in my folder 
uh, for work and this would be my backup pin just to have but here's the pin uh, it does have one of the saws in there those little hand saws which i'm not going to take out but uh these things break all the time there's certain companies you know there's a company that has like a chainsaw type saw blade it's like an actual chainsaw and it has the big handles on it and it's made i forget the company but you know that's that's definitely one i would recommend having but uh these cheap ones like this yeah they break all the time and definitely not something you want to depend on to you know bet your life on but uh would it get the job done maybe for a certain period of time or small limbs and stuff to get a fire going yeah or build a shelter i guess but yeah these break all the time so and, you know and for the quality you know the company is i don't know where it's at but which is probably out of china i mean this looks mostly like china but um anyways it is what it is i don't know how much this kit costs like i said it was a gift for christmas from my mother-in-law from the fam my family member but i don't know how much she paid for it. but anyways that you get what you pay for and uh, when it comes to survival kits that's a big uh, you get what you pay for so it has a small little fishing kit though and i'm surprised that this is in here <clears throat> but it does have a small fishing kit with a lure and a hook and some line but could you maybe catch some fish with this yes but it's only one color one bait and uh only one type of uh, lure so uh you know if anybody knows anything about fishing you know fishing is a lot of patience but also you want to have multiple multiple colors i have a fishing kit that i put together in a small survival container from black scout uh, i made that personally with a lot of the items i know that works for down here in this area and fresh water uh to catch fish but you know you want to have multiple colors different lures and different uh setups so uh, could this work maybe but um yeah wouldn't bet your life on it so anyways it does have that option uh, no way to purify water i don't see that water is number one uh especially down here in florida during the summertime uh, if you don't have water clean water to drink you're gonna die so uh, anyways it doesn't have a way to purify water and uh yeah the mercy blank i already talked about but yeah i don't i don't see that but there's a lot of missing stuff in this kit but you know it is what it is and you get what you paid for could you use it in a pinch probably but i don't there's a lot of stuff that's missing in here that you could go through and pick through and compare it to other survival kits and you can go watch my other videos on black scout survival kits which jack still has one that he sells uh that's an awesome kit and uh but there's a lot of stuff missing, you know, looking at this. So you could just go through a, a list of things that are missing in here. It does have the foam here on the bottom, but like this case isn't, this isn't waterproof and it definitely would, everything would get wet. So I wouldn't, you know, depend on that. And uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that could be better, but for what it is and what the, probably the price was, I don't know, for me, stuff like this isn't worth buying uh, because for me, survival kits are something I'm, I'm gonna make sure I can bet my life on that's gonna, have everything I need for survivability and be there when I need it and work and, and be good quality stuff. So for me, I'm going to spend more money on a good survival kit than buying these cheap stuff. And this is like, this right here is why I did a YouTube channel to not be YouTube famous and make money. It was to help people out there and to stay away from companies like this and to recommend the companies that I see that I think that you can bet your life on. So this is why I do the YouTube channel, so, uh, or do the videos. So it's just, and that's kind of why I'm doing this one to show this kit and all that. But anyways, but the other thing I wanted to show that I picked up and I bought this personally, but it's, uh, was a survival outpost. Um, uh, survival outpost, uh, was talking about this again. This is what he uses in his own, uh, backpacking type, uh, you know, get home bag or, uh, bug out bag type, uh, way to purify water. But I've always wanted one of these. And I've been wanting to get one. I just kept forgetting. I'm gonna use my knife, but uh, just sharpen mine too. So. Anyways, I've always wanted one of these and I love having multiple different ways to purify water. To me, water is number one. And uh, I, that's very important to me. And, and when it comes to survival and survivability, if you can't have clean drinking water, you're not gonna make it. So, and we were actually just talking about this last night over at some friends' houses. But this is the Be Free water filtration system. Now this was on sale on Amazon uh, right now. I think it was like 30, 20% off. I think it was like 20% off. Anyways, I got a, 
I think it was like 38 bucks for this uh, is what I paid. And Survival Outpost was just talking about it and then reminding me and was, you know, talking about this. And he's a big uh, supporter of this company and big believer in it. And it's just easy, simple, reliable, durable, and get the job done where you can have clean drinking water and be able to survive. And not just for survivability, uh, you know, uh, survival situation, but also for backpacking, you know, hiking, whatever. You scoop this down in here, fill it up, fill the bag up, put the top back on, and uh, boom, pop the top, and you got you got water. I mean, it's that simple, lightweight. Uh, I really love this option, and I, like I said, I've been wanting one of these for a while, but I've got so many different companies that I that I have, but I never think you can have too many ways to purify water. I'm just trying to figure out how you pop this top off. Is it because it's new? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, so it's new. But anyways, pop the top, boom. Close that and you got clean drinking water. It's got the measurements here on the bag. Um, yeah, swish it around. Yeah, so anyways, and go watch the Bible Outpost, awesome channel. It's actually a guy that gets out in the field and uses his gear and uh, is a big uh, motivator and believer in that. And you get out there and test your gear, test your packs, and I, I agree with him 100%. And, uh, but anyways, this is what he uses all the time and works every time, all the time. And just an easy way to purify water and a lightweight option, individual, you know, water purification. And I really love it. Like I'm, I really love this, uh, this setup. You know, and you can just get all the air out of the bag and seal it back up. And then you can stuff this in the little side pocket on your backpack. I'm gonna put that on the, on my 50 liter pack, I'll put it on the side there and that way I can get to it, find a water source, fill up, boom, good to go. But dude, that's awesome. Like Be Free Company, bags one liter, uh, free flow channels, easy cleanup. Uh, good morning, big boy. Mm -hmm. My son just woke up here. We're all just getting up here and recovering from last night. We had a long Christmas and a long holiday weekend. It also rained over here, yeah, so we had a wet one, but then it dried up later in the evening. Uh, but stay clean, drink water purification. I'm just starting to see uh, wide mouth, 42 millimeter flash opening, easy flowing, comes right out, removes 99.9 .9 bacteria, and uh, ultra light combat flexibility, ultra fast flow, ultra fast flow, shake to clean. So awesome product and uh like a kit like this i don't have any way to purify water you gotta have this so uh this is a must but anyways guys just wanted to show this kit show that new product that i picked up definitely pick these up on sale and uh take care god bless and uh yeah when it comes to survival kits and preparedness and prepping and all that stuff uh you know, I always recommend the good companies and companies to buy from that you can bet your life on and products that are gonna be there for the long haul, but also take care of you. Like Nutrient Survival, the Black Scout Survival Kit that they sell. But if you're gonna buy survival food, uh, long-term storage food, uh, freeze-dried food, uh, Nutrient Survival is the way to go. And, uh, you know, just spend, uh, these days you gotta make sure you uh, invest your monies in the good companies and, and companies that you can, uh, that you know they're there for you and good for you. So anyways, guys, take care. God bless. See you on the next one. And uh, yeah, all right, y'all.